Good. The first question is, who is the family, Vibes Carter's mother, his grandmother we heard on with him to each and how are they coping with the verdict? Well, I uh, got family in the world, we're still around, we're still crying, you know, mommy is gone, daddy is gone, my grandparents are gone, sisters, and my brother, you know, we're gone, still crying, still don't know when we will recover. Ms. Nelson, when was the last time you spoke with him? The last time I spoke with my brother was maybe well, just before he was arrested, shortly before he was arrested, since for almost three years now, past the when I've seen him, so he was the last time he spoke. Okay. And oh, so he, he, he's, there are what, he has what, five siblings? Well, so I have another brother. Okay, and all right. So, and all everybody's alive. All of the siblings alive. Yes, we're all alive. All right. So, you were. Where were you yesterday? Were you in the court when the verdict was read? No, I was at home with my with my with my mother as a family member. Right, and you were listening to it, following it on the media. Yes, I was. Right. So, when you heard that the verdict for him. Came, came back guilty. What what was? How did you react? And you know how did mommy and everybody else who was listening take it? Describe that for us. Well, I was in my bed for a while. I couldn't move. I I was without words. I couldn't speak. You know, we were just stood there in front of the television for what seemed as if it was eternity. You know, not speaking, not looking at each other, and then you know the tears started flowing. Mm -hmm. Did you sleep last night? I think I fell asleep about it, in and out of sleep, you know, same thing for my sister. So if you call it sleep. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, you, you probably dozed sleep. here and there. Right, if you call it sleep. Yes, you, you spoke in court, you know, speaking to the character of the brother that you knew uh, before the entertainment world uh, took him from the family in many respects. And is it is, is, is Vibes Cartel the person you spoke sincerely of on the witness stand or are people to know or think of him as something else? How should people think of your brother? Well, as I, as I said earlier when I took the witness stand, I spoke about the brother that I knew before and even after the entertainment industry because the relationship that we have didn't change, didn't change, as I said, you know, that the brother I know, I do whatever image the society have of a DJ or a cartel or whatever they call him, that's a different thing that it is not as, a, as, as some remembers. Knowing so, him as you do, you know, after the verdict, how would, how do you think he is handling it from a personal level, level? We heard that he showed no emotion in court yesterday, but can you give us an insight into how you think he's handling this reality of a guilty verdict? He's a strong individual, you know, like myself and our other siblings. He's a strong individual, and I know that uh, as a human being, he should be hurting inside, but again, he wants to be strong for us, so... I know that uh, he's hurting, but he's strong, he's strong, he's a strong person, he's a strong person. Mm -hmm. You would have spoken to him, I'm sure, many times during his career. You may have seen certain things that you didn't find a favor with and may have had a word with him. Was he the kind of person who you felt would take good advice and would eventually uh, be on the straighter and the narrower path than he appeared to have been? As I said, in court, my brother knew my stance on some of the lyrics, he knew my stance on the bleaching, but as he said, and as I said earlier, that is his, this is his entertainment part. You know, the things that I hear, I hear through the media, like most persons, I've never had a chance to encounter that. Yeah. So, the music, my sister, it's my art, it's my craft. Mm -hmm. It is what he does as an entertainer, not who he is as a person. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the society will look at a lot of persons and will pass judgment on that part 
and to see yourself and be your partner as an individual doing this thing as it's craft. Ms. Nelson, many people look at Cartel the Artist and say he had such influence on people and he could make people do things for him. But is it, could you, could you, can you imagine it that he was a victim of the same people that he was said to influence, that they probably influenced him to be in the position that he's in now? Could be. It could be. Could be. I think it's Cartel special. It could be. We don't know. And we never know. Yes, yes. We never know. Mm -hmm. So now the verdict is out. He is to go back to court for sentencing on March 27th. I'm sure the family will be doing a lot of praying that, you know, he gets something good. And then even beyond that, when the appeal is launched, eh? On day one, we have this 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 on day and uh, we are praying and hoping for the best. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're based on where you sat, you testified in court and you followed the trial, are you satisfied with how his legal team fought for his freedom? I think the legal team did an excellent job. Um, what is in question is not how the legal team fought, but other things which I will not keep up at this time. Yes, yes, yes. And, uh, you know, if you could say a word directly to your little brother, Adija, looking him in the face, now what would you say, Mr. Nelson? The strength, the fight continues. It's a pause. It's not a full stop. Uh, many persons may think that they have silenced his voice, but it's a pause. He's a talented young man. He's a brilliant young man. And uh, God is a God of a second chance. And that my brother will will hear his voice again. Will hear his voice again. We love you. We are here for your family. We are supporting you. And God, God is on the job, and everything will be okay. Yes. Have you spoken with his wife and your nephews uh, in the time since the verdict was handed out? Have you made contact with them? How are they coping? Well, as I said, you know, distraught, the kids are distraught, and, um, you know, some of the comments that I made, I just want to tell to remember that he has his sons, and they're listening, smart boys listening and asking, and some of the first comments hurting the children, really, really hurting the children. But, you know, we are supporting each other, we are helping each other through this extremely difficult time, and, um, we're crying, we don't know when you stop crying, the kids are crying, everyone is crying, you know, but the are just there to support and just be there for each other. Mm. Marie Nelson, be strong in this time. Thank you very much for speaking with us this afternoon. Thank you very much. That's the eldest sister of Vibes Cartel. She's also the vice principal of the Cumberland High School in Portmore, St. Catherine. Marie Nelson. That's a nationwide cover story.